everyone thinks, present company included, that a switch is going to flip or like you snap and all of a sudden you're a trader. Yeah, okay. But the reality is it doesn't work that way. It's a million little things that will make you a successful trader. And it's a million little things that will keep you a successful trader. Very hard not to become the definition of the insanity, doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different outcome. And as I often say, and Livermore said it long before me, is that a trader sometimes makes mistakes and knows he is making them. I've done complete presentations just on that. Anyway, without further ado, this week, many little things. Number 608,153, subordinate thy will. Roy Longstreet wrote a little book. It's called Viewpoints of a Commodity Trader. And I gave away my copy. I didn't realize it was a rare copy. And I didn't give it away because because I I didn't like it. I was just going to buy me another copy. And then I went to try to find a new copy. And that's before it was in paperback. And what do you guys think? It was Mike Peterson uh, sent me a paperback copy of it because I bitched about it so much in the webinars because I was stupid to give it away. But it's a great little book. And again, you can get it in paperback. It's a lot cheaper in paperback. If you can find the original version, that's uh, that'd be awesome, right? But uh, it's the viewpoints of a commodity trader. And he said the deepest secret for the trader is his ability to subordinate his own will to the will of the market. Now, there's different ways of looking at that. And, and that's where it, it dovetails in with the cognitive biases, okay? It's like Don, for instance, is coming at the market from the angle of he just wants to get to break even as opposed to coming at it from, hey, this thing's making new highs. I'm finally making some money. I'm going to hang on to it because that's what the market's will seems to be. Or on the flip side, you think a market should be going higher and then it keeps going down and you've got a stop in place or, or you pull that stop thinking that, well, maybe it'll stop going down. I don't want it to go any further. Well, who wants to lose money? Nobody. But unfortunately, shit happens, sometimes twice. So learn how to subordinate your will to the market. Uh, read Roy Longstreet, again, Viewpoints of a Commodity Trade. If you go to my website and go to davelander.com slash books-2-read, I have all of these books listed there. 